So we are going to continue with the remembering project. It started out as this idea to get the kids to have a, a, a clue about what happened. I chose Danielle Nicole Bell, and she's a child. They would pick a person and then do some research. She seemed really sweet and innocent and nice, and you know, she liked nature. And then create an image. I thought a baby bird would be a really good way to represent and remember her. I chose Margaret Goodson. It was really cool that she was a part of a motorcycle club and she was 54. You get to see who the people are instead of just, uh, oh, this fact, it happened on this day. And then just some pops of color. I think. When you physically create, that can make an experience larger. They won't forget the person, I guarantee you, because they have vested time, energy, thought, research. In art, we get to capture them. We get to put the full focus on them. I chose Kayla Marie Titsworth. I think my mom used to work with this girl. I'm sure she was really intelligent because she was multilingual. We are remembering their life instead of how they died, and it really helps us to remember them in a more beautiful way because we can make something beautiful out of their lives. I decided to have her on a really big rainbow fish, and I just felt like it had a lot of emotion in it. There was a connection then, and I suspect that there's a connection now. You knew them in the sense that they were people just like, just like us. One little part of, of a bigger whole can, can really make a difference. If their piece that they've created teaches one other person about the bombing, we've done our job.